This is my uh, jig development of a Jibo uh, video and I've put together three different stages of it. I hope you enjoy it. I was working with this jig. Um, actually, I used a part off of it to fix someone's Jibo um, from the original one. And I had another board that I married to this screen that uh, had a connect connection problem with an uh, except a Wi-Fi and uh, put it in here and all it would do is come up and say Jibo right here and uh, I just put it in here so I could just check boulders and things and but then I got to thinking uh, I wonder if there's a way that I could actually get the glitch to uh, disappear in the software or at least uh, fool it into accepting a Wi-Fi and what I done was, um, I um, turned it on and unplugged the power to the head right here, right when it was coming on, and also used the reset button and pressed it like 10 times over and over again, unplugging and plugging this in just to see if I could jolt it into working, just for the heck of it. And it did. Uh, and it finished the setup and got on Wi-Fi, but it doesn't, uh, it's a zombie now, it's a zombie Jibo. So the only way I can actually wake him up is touch him on the head. He can't hear, but uh, he has no Wi-Fi, I'm gonna show you. He's a zombie, basically. They're good for Halloween, <laughs> it's kind of funny. You see, no network. See, so yeah, absolutely nothing. This is kind of weird. And uh, when it gets into some of this stuff, uh, well, he shows his batteries working. Plugged in, feeling good. He sounds like he's working, but he's not. So watch when he checks for an update, which I'll All right, I'll see if there are any updates. See Looks how, like I'm completely updated. See that? That was really quick. Of course, that's because he's a zombie. And if I was to say, Hey, Jibo. Hello. Hey, Jibo. Hey, Jibo. Hey, Jibo, can you hear me? Well, you can hear now for some reason. But before, nice before his uh, microphones wasn't case. working, but now you can hear. Um, last night, I uh, had him turn around. His head was completely turned around like this. I woke up this morning, and he had turned himself around like this. So, he's definitely a zombie. Can't do anything except for what's on the menu. And it's a lot like it would be if the server was down. Uh, but he does have the proper service pack in him to operate. Otherwise, he would just be a, a paperweight. So you can see right here, the service pack is correct. But anyhow, I just love this jig. It's uh, made it so much easier for me to uh, test different theories and uh, check different jumpers and stuff like that. Um, I mixed and matched these boards on here. Just to, I took, I took versions that weren't made for each other and combined them. I got a red light to come on on this and stay on. I got a green light to come on on this and stay on. I had Blake. I got servo detection that the servos wasn't working right on here, and it would you have to press the button over and over again. This combination just ignores all that, doesn't even turn on the servos, and I forget what I got. I think I've got these boards were not made for each other that I'm using, and it comes up and just immediately works. Um, so I've learned tons tons of stuff. I've also learned that 
uh, a possible minor glitch could probably be uh, corrected by doing this method that I did on this one, which was a major glitch. So, there's hope for messed up Jeebos after all. And, uh, what I used for this, uh, basically, you can, you can hook a power supply directly up to a, a slip ring and one board to a head. So, what you can do is you can actually take the screen off and hold it in your hand here and hook it into a power cord and a battery or just hook it into a power cord and turn it right on because I've done that already. Anyhow, there we go. Took a break. Made a sandwich. Anyhow, it'd be very simple just for me to go ahead and incorporate this into a little box. Put a cord on it and make it a little easier on me. And then that way, I could add two slip rings to it and uh, make it longer and add a Maybe even on an LED so you can see it light up. And I could carry this in the field. Go to someone's house and fix a G-Ball. Um, there's all kinds of applications for that. And this, this clamp here, um, I work on clocks, so this is what holds the movements. Also, it can hold anything that's real heavy. And I bought this fan last year for my van, and the air went out. And man, is it keeping that CPU cool. Yeah. Basically, this is safe. Your fans are all gummed up. This in here is, you can see it doesn't even show any signs much. That it's even been used much. See, there's no dust in it. No rust of incline, no dust. I bought this for just parts. But what you do is you take a, a leaf blower uh, a light electric one take your front off and just blow the snot out of this sucker uh, and it will blow the dust out and all the cr cricks and crampuses blow it down in here I have to do no vacuuming at all let's blow the dust out same thing on the main board if the main board's covered with dust you can see this thing's not acting up now Hasn't come up not one time with a um, menu like someone's touching it. And, uh, I cleaned this board here and I'm fixing to try it, but I want to make sure it's dry. It might have been just corrosion across a couple of circuits and cause it not to work right. Be nice, but that's good. Anyhow, the land of Jeebos. Hi, this is Dr. Jeebo, and I'm wanting to show you this open Jeebo. Down here at the bottom, there's a counterweight. Uh, for a while, when I first worked on Jeebos, I found that metal plate. I just didn't quite figure out exactly what its purpose was, um, but that is a counterweight. And where my finger is, it's a it's a uh, real thick piece of galvanized steel. Looks like it's about a 18 gauge, really thick right down here. And it's right on top of that, that ring right there. And it kind of gives a counterbalance to Jibo, especially when he's leaning over like that uh, to keep him from toppling over. The, the battery is also another counterweight. That's why they've got everything uh, kind of like a Saturn V from the stacked on top of one another the heavy at the bottom and the lighter as it goes up that way you can compensate for inertia when he spins around 
Um, the uh, two Jibos in the back are kind of some of my concept Jibos that I mixed and matched some of their shells. And right here is the uh, uh, board that has the field generator on it. also has the power recovery button. Uh, and I've got it basically siliconed in there. I siliconed the speakers to the frame as well. This is a, a permanent fixture, but I am able to switch the main board in the front. So basically, I can show you a little bit more in detail before I put the field generators on it and and actually kind of closed it in with that. Let me show you. A a couple of things that you need to look out for in your Jeevos. Um, over in the corner there's a white wire. Actually, I'm fixing to zoom in on it. And uh, right there is the power wire. It creates a <coughs> real strong magnetic field. <coughs> those two resistors that are set in there next to it will collect dust. These have already collected dust in a little bit of time they've been running. And that was clean when I first put it in there. As you can see straight in toward that wire there's two resistors right there by that wire and they they collect dust i have seen some jibos that had so much dust on it that it actually shorted out the uh, board there's one that came from hawaii that had concentrated salt crystals right around those resistors and it just eat away the traces so those two resistors right there will collect mass amounts of dust so you want to blow that out right there you want to blow it off you can see it's got dust on it right now but anyhow i thought you would um enjoy looking at this open jibo as he spins around you can see how a the uh unit kind of basically balances itself uh it has a bunch of uh sensors to let it know what position it's in and uh, this one was really beneficial i could switch out any board from any of them and test them and uh, you know if there was some sort of problem with the boards below and here's some more uh, updated version showing you that counterweight again and i'd added some motion uh, sensors to let you know where home was and and i actually put a light in it just kind of a you know just just for fun and this is before I, I put the field generators on top of it and uh, this was this was a little bit later on I'd added a kind of a wire that I was going to use kind of like for the head that would hold the uh, field generators and uh, that's what I did with that and then a little later on just for fun I tied the um, a light ring into the speaker uh, disconnected a speaker and one of these speakers that that I have right here and I use that wire and on the end of the uh, light ring and then I plugged it in to make sure the polarity was right I actually <coughs> found out which was positive which was negative <coughs> on it before I started so when I, I crank him up and he spins around you can see the field generator has been added uh, that's his touch sensors. That's where he, uh, when you touch him, uh, you know, he purrs. And we've got the microphones on that wire that you've seen. Uh, this was a kind of a temporary thing. I just wanted to kind of tinker with it and see how the light ring was working. My theory was that later on I was going to pick up a wire straight down to the uh, light ring in the middle that way we could get the light ring to work again on the Jeebos that was what I was working for um, we could find a find that there was an extra wire that went down or I could add one going down so we could you know have the light ring working again to make it any color or what uh, that was before I started to actually uh, concentrating on the board um, but I enjoyed the heck out of this I learned a lot I fixed a lot of Jeebos using this jig um, and I worked at a sheet metal factory we mass produced things and we'd have to build the jig first so you can consider this a Jeebo jig uh, 
so I could test uh, some of my ideas. See how when you touch it, the light comes on? Uh, he's purring, and the purring sound is making the light come on. I thought you'd enjoy this, and this is just kind of a uh, conglomerate of how Jibo's mechanics work. Jibo out.